Yes, FIFA, let's Matt, a.k.a. the Doc in the Arena, the guy that will give you those medical takes on sporting topics. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video highlighting the five worst things about working in sport. And since then, people have been saying to me, listen, come on, there's two sides to the coin here. I know you've enjoyed yourself. Tell us what the best things about working in sport are. I'm going to give you the five best things about working in sport, as told by me, a team doctor who's worked in professional sport. What I would say is if you like this type of content, if you're just more interested in how you know it all just works behind the scenes, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell and jump in the comments. Let me know if you've got any requests. Um, Discord as well. Hop in. Let me know if you've got any requests and I'll try and get involved. Other than that, listen, I know some of these will sound strange. OK, some of these will sound strange. But just bear with me. I hope I've explained them well. So I think in at number five would actually be the medical aspect of what I do. So just the medicine. It's interesting. These people are such unique physical specimens. They're the top 0.0001% of individuals from an athletic standpoint. It's really interesting working with them, seeing how their bodies work and how treating them is different from treating maybe a regular individual within the population you know having to prepare them to do what they do is so different from having to just get someone back to being able to walk or get upstairs or you know just be able to start driving again or something like that their level of function is so high it's such a challenging thing working with these individuals but also extremely extremely interesting Furthermore, you feel like the interventions you do have real world implications that you can see pretty much straight away. So what I mean by that is like, say I do an intervention, an injection or something for an individual and they're able to play the next game, perform the next game and help out the team. That is extremely satisfying. The reverse as well is also true. So if someone's got any concerns or worries, but you actually say, no, I think you're fit to play and you, you know, you put your, you put your neck out and say that and they do play and they perform well, that as well is very interesting and satisfying so that aspect i find i don't take for granted and i think i thought just straight off the bat i'll tell you that and it links to my point at number four which is the pressure now the pressure in the job is constant i think i actually said said it was an issue on my five worst things right it is constant it is from the players it is from other staff members it is from the manager it is from the higher ups at the club constantly wanting to know what's going on what you need to do you know all everyone's got an opinion yeah and that's fair enough because all the stakeholders involved have got a lot on the line but in a weird way that pressure is a privilege just think about it this way i'm sure like in your job or whatever you do you want to feel like your job matters right you want people to have interest in what you do you want um your say to have some sort of meaning right and I think the pressure, although it can be overbearing a lot of the time, I'll say that like straight off the bounce. I actually think it's a really good thing. I think it's a good thing for people in not just my field, but in other jobs to have pressure to be able to have to problem solve and improve themselves and get better each time. And I think it was that type of pressure that has actually improved me as a doctor and as an individual. (laughs) Right. So now at number three, this sounds a bit strange as well, but if you've worked in like this type of environment you know what i mean and it's being part of the family yeah you don't think about god family i know it sounds a bit godfatherish but it's genuinely a thing like if you're in you're in like an elite sports team it's a very close circle it's a circle of trust if you watch meet the parents it's like that circle of trust yeah but if you're in you're in and it's great being able to trust other people and other people trust you and you're sort of in the inner circle, especially if you were a fan of the sport. You feel looked after in a weird way and you feel like a relationship with others. And it's just like, I don't know. I, d- I don't know. Like, I'm sure you've been part of a team in, in some other aspect or a club or something. It's just like a really nice feeling. Equally, if you break that trust, you're out. You're out. They're not having you anymore and that's done. And also, therefore, knowing that you're part of the family and can contribute to that family is like a really special and unique atmosphere and i'm sure a lot of people in their jobs probably wish they would have that relationship with their co-workers and with their employer so again i don't take that for granted and i think that's one of the best best things now as for the rest of it i wasn't sure what was going to go at number one or at number two but just on balance i'm gonna say at number two the best thing about working in sport particularly in the premier league is just the match days in general and the reason for that is because it's the summation of your work for the week yeah having like a little crescendo at the end of your week is like really really lucky it like breaks the monotony you know some people work three four five six months and have annual leave and three four five six months 
and like you don't get any sort of mental stimulation having like match days week in week out like it it, it adds relevance to your work and like you you look forward to it in a weird way even if it's in like a nervous way so having that every single week is special it's special furthermore match days is actually weirdly can be the day of peace like it's a day where no one bothers you everyone in the club knows that you've got a job to do you don't have to attend meetings you don't have to respond to emails you don't have to take phone calls you don't want to take you can just focus on the players on the product that's on the pitch like what you've actually came there to do what you enjoy as i said it's just the day of the week where everything means something and all the rubbish you can just put to the side for a minute me personally i'm always a bit on edge on match day because i could be called into action at any point but i think you get the point right i think you get the point of what i'm trying to say so match days are the best it's the best day of the week it's all your work wrapped into one you know it's one of those where at the end of the day you're just like it is what it is like there's no more nonsense getting in the way and that's what i love about match days so with all that having been said at number one has to be has to be you guys the fans it has to be the fans now i've done matches with fans but i've also worked in covid times where there's been no fans behind closed doors games and although match day is class it is what it is without the fans it was just different like the fans make it what it is basically when fans are there there's a physical vibration to the stadium there's a physical vibration it's because they're physically there they're stamping their feet they're talking they're chanting and that type of stimulation i'm 100 percent sure there'll be scientific evidence out there yeah that that stimulates dopamine or something running through your system a bit of adrenaline and it's a feeling that you won't get in any other workplace it is the best thing about sports full stop full stop i'm sure people agree with it in any other context if you've been to a great stadium you will know exactly what i'm talking about and the fans each week add that x factor that just can drain away any burnout you're feeling any boredom monotony you're feeling win lose or draw really i'll answer this question because someone asked me actually in terms of the the best atmosphere i might i might do a longer video on it but straight up i'm going to shout out villa park villa park was the best atmosphere i've ever experienced i was shocked it was it was the loudest place we lost actually yeah annoying but shout out the villa park best stadium going there you are hope that made sense it was a bit hodgepodge because it was i'm speaking from emotion really but that's what it is those are my top five let me know what you think let me know if i've missed anything out and just as i said just jump on the discord any question just ask me if it's if i find it interesting i'll hop on i'll do a video for you other than that you guys take care i'll see you on the next vid